All right, I've got the T-Mobile home internet, um, their 5G uh, tube. And here in rural Michigan, I don't have much, uh, much service, but um, with the advent of an external antenna, I'm hoping to, to improve that. So I've purchased the waveform uh, multi-in, multi-out, uh, panel. I'm going to try to install that. So I've already taken the the SIM card out and unscrewed it. This thing was kind of a pain to take out, but it just pulls out after that. I've unplugged the battery. We can pull it out. And then as long as you've got the plug removed and the, the button in, this slides out relatively easily. And then right up here at the top, or I guess at the bottom, um, there's a set of antennas coming in. Let's see if I can get a better angle on that. There they are. All right. And we're going to remove those, those two on the right and replace them with these dongles that were provided. All right, I'm gonna get that done. All right, so I've gotten those removed. It was relatively simple. Now the next step is to feed these wires through here and then up this hole so that we can plug them in over there. All right, so initially I thought it would be easiest to come in through this slot and come up through this hole and into here. But now I'm concerned about strain relief. So I'm gonna try to come in uh, this slot here at the corner, which will allow me to come in around here and tie into the existing strain relief pattern just like these cables are right here. Um, so when you when you come in, you want to make sure you come under under the ridge here, and then into the hole. And, uh, try that this time. So that was very fiddly. The best technique I came with was aligning it with my finger and then using a screwdriver to push it down and I could lever against the uh, casing here and get it down. And it wasn't too bad. And then I can use the same clips here. And then I'm going to route them through these strain relief points. And then back out over here. Let's uh, see if I can get that done. All right, that wasn't too bad. I ended up having uh, to bend this up a little bit. And kind of slide the wires through um, to get it through there. And then likewise... That, uh, that other tab needed to be bent up a little bit. And I'm just gonna kind of tape these wires, the old ones, somewhere um, out of the way and slide this thing back together, see how it does. Now I've slid the case back on and we're just gonna do the assembly in reverse. Gonna install the battery, put in the four screws that were here here, here, and here. Snap this guy back on. Put the SIM card back in. See how we go. And there we go. Um, because I was concerned about strain relief, those are tiny little plugs inside. Um, it is, you know, wrapped through all the strain relief the other one had, but on the outside as I come up, I went ahead and zip tied it. So if you, you know, kind of tug on these, it's tugging against the zip tie and not the little plugs inside. Um, and that should help. Uh, may not be necessary, but I've got a four-year-old running around. So, you know, the, the safer, the better. So now I just got to get the antenna installed and give her a test. 
All right, so waveform includes these little barrel connectors um, to directly connect the antenna to my uh, my modem here, um, and then take out uh, the modem to the outside and try to get the best signal we can. Um, so avoid plugging in the long wires and just uh, take the short unit out and point it around until I get the best speed. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm probably going to need to take an extension cord um, through the window to plug this guy in. Um, it does have a battery, but it doesn't work real well with the battery. And there it is. Uh, it's a flat panel on the side of the house. The, the one on the left there is the antenna for my signal booster, uh, cell signal booster. That's what I was using before we put up uh, put up this one. Uh, and it worked okay, uh, but it was only one, one antenna. Uh, and that just kind of groups over. It's attached to the house and goes in in there and then I routed it through a couple closets uh, over to where we have have the modem uh, and it went up pretty easy just a, a panel on J-mount uh, we have it pointed at the tower uh, in theory it could be pointed in other places and you pick up signal but uh, with the testing I did, it, uh, it picks up signal pointed directly at the tower best. Uh, I did find the right location using the method they had described, which was to take your modem out, attach it to the antenna with the little barrel connectors, uh, and kind of walk around your house looking for the best signal. And uh, you know, I came out here, I had pretty good signal pointed about 90 degrees uh, counterclockwise towards another tower. But uh, the upload speed pointed towards this tower was significantly better, like an order of magnitude. Uh, download speed was a little bit better off the other tower, um, but it's good enough here that I don't have to worry about it. Uh, upload is what I really need. I do a lot of uh, video conferencing for work, um, and I uh, upload YouTube videos. Uh, and we went from having uh, some of my, you know, like a two-minute YouTube video might take four hours on my old, my old antenna right there on the left, uh, and now it takes oh maybe ten minutes or so or less. It's a significant, it's a significant improvement. Uh, and I can do things while I'm uploading that video. It used to be with the, the sing, sig, sing, signal booster. Uh, it's just one antenna. So it can either come up or it can go down. And uh, when I'm uploading a video, I can't download anything or surf the web. Uh, so with the, the flat panel that we have from Waveform here, it's a... It's a multi in multi out and we get excellent service in both directions and since the T-Mobile modem has four uh, four antennas in it I can still use the signal booster for one of them essentially uh, and two others can come through here that are directly connected and that works really well for us well enough at least I imagine if I got another panel, I could get uh, another in and another out, and maybe, maybe not double it, but you know, pretty close. Uh, at least a 25% improvement, I think. But that's a topic for another time. I think this is good enough for now. Uh, all right. And this is why we're here the new speed test with the antenna up. Starts a little slow, but then we get into some good numbers here. And that is way better than what we had before. Way better. 
here's where it really shines. Look at that upload. That's an order of magnitude, at least better than what we had before. You'll see that here in a minute in some graphs. Look at that. That's well worth it. And here are some graphs that we were talking about. You can see in the uh, in the red there, that's when we just had the T-Mobile 4G and they were decommissioning towers. And when we get to the yellow, uh, that's when we swapped it for the, the new 5G modem. And things did improve for, for download, uh, but the upload actually got worse. Um, so this, this waveform antenna uh, was installed in that green section there in mid-December, early December. And, uh, and that's where we get at a real good speed, and then and, and thanks, thanks, Waveform. Highly recommended.